Hi, I'm Georgia and this is Ricky. We're going to run you through some things to think about when transitioning from high school to TAFE or to uni. Actually, they call it higher education nowadays. What? Yeah, it's the next step after high school. They call it higher education. Why? Well, it's not just unis that offer degrees. I'm doing a degree at NMIT. Hmm. We're probably going to be promoting NMIT just a little bit. Regardless of where you go, researching what you want to do can save you time and money. And who doesn't love time and money? Your careers counsellor has probably given you a thousand pamphlets and whatnot about open days and different course options, not to mention the VTAC guide. Believe it or not, these are great because you can read about all the possibilities and different ways to get to where you want to go. The open days are great because it gives you a chance to get away from the books. You might want to bring a few friends along as well. At some open days, you get to see the equipment and classes you may be a part of, which is a lot better than just reading about the state-of-the-art facilities. Often other open days are held at one place, so you don't get to see the place where the course is actually held. NMIT encourages you to contact the department you're interested in and make a time to see the facilities. It's important to see and be in a place you can imagine what it's like being there. We're all different, just look at Ricky and me. So different institutions suit different people. Don't forget to look at the other aspects, not just the courses themselves. Oh, and nowadays, people just don't go from TAFE to university. Lots of university graduates go to TAFE to broaden their skills and get experience and exposure in working environments. Oh, NMIT has RPL. And for anyone that doesn't speak in acronyms, RPL stands for Recognition of Prior Learning, which means students may get full or partial credit towards their qualifications for having previous experience in the workplace, voluntary work, social or domestic activities, or any formal or informal training. Remember that even if there's a campus right around the corner from you, they might not have the course you're looking for. Take me for example, I'm a music performance student but music performance is at Fairfield, and that's not the closest campus to me. NMIT has seven campuses and five training centres across Victoria. Understanding the concept of balance is a really important thing you need to learn when leaving high school. At high school, there are teachers who chase you for work, six hour days with break periods, and parents who provide money, food and housing. At high school, balance is created for you. At TAFE or uni, you need to develop your own balance. You need to learn to lead your own life. Everything is on you, for you. No teacher will chase you up for work no matter how late it is. There is no detention, just a simple fail. And that makes you wonder about all the times you woke up really early and all the money you wasted. So basically there are three things you have to balance while at uni or TAFE. Education, money and recreation and friends. Without study, you'll likely fail. Without money, you'll become homeless and starve to death. And without recreation and friends, you'll likely burn out. And that too could lead to death. But don't worry. It's okay. Because TAFEs and unis usually put in place services to aid you in the transition. At NMIT, there's a veritable plethora of services to help you through your time here. NMIT has a series of services that can help you in a variety of areas. They are called the Student Services Department. When you start at NMIT, Student Services organises orientation activities that involve anything from bands to jugglers, barbecues and street performances. There are many pressures placed on students as they try and balance study, work and friends. Perhaps the course you have chosen isn't working out or you aren't sure about the career pathway you have chosen. Talking to someone about it early and getting help is the key. NMIT offers a counselling service which allows students to talk confidentially about their personal issues and study problems. For many students, finding a place to live is their number one priority. Whether you come from the country, interstate or even the other side of Melbourne, finding a place to live can be quite intense. NMIT has a housing and support officer who can aid you in finding accommodation. Have you, have you seen that um, 
that assignment sheet, the one that's due. Have you heard of the study skills advisory service that NMIT have? Um, they help you organize everything. At the beginning, it's so stressful when everything's left up to you. It's so unlike high school. They help you get some really good, strong study and research skills. You know, they won't do your assignments for you, but they'll help you put a presentation or an essay together. I've never been. I seem to have misplaced that sheet. Maybe I left it in my car. Back in a second. The Disability Support Service can help assist students with disabilities or chronic medical conditions so that they can participate in the programs, reach their goals, just like any other student. That was close. When it's time to relax and unwind, the Student Activities Unit holds a range of on and off campus events such as bands and barbecues, sporting competitions and student orientation activities to help you settle in and meet new people. There are loads of opportunities throughout the year to get away from the books. NMIT also competes with other TAFE institutions around the state in lots of different sports such as basketball, table tennis, soccer, netball, football and even fishing. The National Campus Band Competition is where our bands get a chance to compete with bands from other TAFEs and unis all over the state. Plus, there's the Future DJ Competition which allows you to mix it with some of the best tertiary DJs. Can you take over? Just for a second. Right. There are also other course-related events like the NMIT Food and Wine Expo, visual arts exhibitions, performances by the music students, and readings and book launches, which is organised through the NMIT Student Publishing House. Preston Campus has a fully equipped gym. Students from any campus can join for a very reasonable cost. You all right? Mm. Right, so NMIT is good because one, all the teachers that work there have worked in the area they are teaching. Therefore, they have loads of experience to share in the class. Two, there are student services that organize recreational stuff and other supports. Three, there are small classes so it's easier to make friends and have direct contact with teachers, unlike universities which usually have hundreds of people in a lecture at any one time. Four, there are services that support students with their coursework. For example, the Study Skills Advisory Service, which can help you when you're struggling with your workload. Right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm.